Good day everyone, today on Review at the Cycle, we are going to review a tic-tac of a grown biological man who's trans telling parents that they shouldn't be concerned that he shares a restroom with their little girls. Keep in mind he goes by non-binary and transgender, so calling him he is not discriminating. Now let me be clear, we aren't making these videos because we are transphobe or bigots. We are making these videos to defend the civil rights of women and children because there are people like this on platforms like TikTok who are trying to indoctrinate your children. Why do you think this grown man has an account on TikTok? Why would he have an account on TikTok? It's because there are young influential minors on TikTok that he can indoctrinate. This man who feels like a woman thinks that his misogyny should trump the civil rights of women and girls just because he feels like a woman. We are going through very dark times right now across the world, but in America it is our job to pay attention and be involved because it is up to us to create a healthy future for the children. Politics is downstream from culture. Culture is created, culture is manifest, and then later on, it becomes politics. In Canada, a dad has been jailed because he used the wrong pronoun for his daughter. It's not okay, and it will come to America if we continue with such low IQ where we get distracted by the terms transphobe and bigot instead of actually having conversations. We are not making these videos because we are transphobe or bigot. I am making these videos because I am a biological woman and I am protecting my rights as a biological woman. So here's the clip. I hope everyone knows that we need to protect the women and children has been used against marginalized people for most of human history. These comments upset me because it's anti-trans, of course, but also it strikes me as anti your own daughters, anti young people, anti women. If you are a young person, if you're a daughter, if you are a woman, would you do me a favor? Please let all of the men in your life know that you can take care of yourself. Let them know you don't need protecting and that you especially don't want protection if it means erasing trans people from public life. Can you imagine being this delusional, this self-involved, where as a biological man, seeing comments that are protecting the rights of biological women and girls upset you as a biological man? Can you imagine being that delusional, that mentally unhealthy? 10 years ago, this would have been satire. And honestly, I almost think it is satire. Because here, let me go through each part that's problematic, even though the entire thing is problematic. But first he says, I hope that everyone knows that we need to protect women and children has been used against marginalized people for most of human history. No, actually, you are trying to marginalize women and girls because you as a biological man think that your rights should trump biological women and girls rights if you claim to be a woman and women do not grow chest hair so i don't know what kind of woman this is most women like 99.99999% of women don't grow chest hair let's get this straight this biological man wants to expunge the rights of women and girls so that he can become them and then have his rights trump their rights. So let's continue. He says, these comments upset me because they're anti-trans. Those comments aren't anti-trans. Those comments are in support of women and girls. Again, with the whole being distracted by the terms anti-trans. Stop getting distracted by this. This is why this man feels comfortable enough to say this stuff on camera. Because we hear the term anti-trans and we're just like, let's go protest. 
we must go protest the transphobes and the bigots and the anti-trans. What is anti-trans anyway? What is transphobic anyway? What is bigot anyway? All it is, is protecting the rights of women and girls. He then goes on to say, do me a favor. Please let all of the men in your life know that you can take care of yourself. Let them know that you don't need protecting and you especially don't want protection if it involves erasing trans people from public life. This biological man is gaslighting every woman and girl that exists. This biological man is so delusional that he is telling you as a woman or a little girl that you don't need protection from biological men who are inherently stronger than biological women and girls. It's just biology. This biological man is trying to use his misogyny to gaslight you into thinking that you don't have rights. Your rights don't matter because as a biological man, his rights should be able to trump your rights if he feels like a woman. Straight gaslighting. You don't need protection no matter what size you are, how old you are. You don't need protection. If you are in the woman's locker room or the woman's bathroom and a grown man exposes his penis to you, just tell him you don't need protection. You don't need protection. You don't need protection. And the more I say it on TikTok, the more you're gonna believe it. That's why, as a grown man, I'm on TikTok. Because I'm trying to brainwash young, influential youth. It does take strength and courage to speak out, but it's rewarding because you know you're doing the right thing. And the people who give you shit for it, or the friends that you lose because of it, you don't want them your friends anyway. Don't care about the people who think that this is okay. We make these videos because we care, and you should too. Thank you guys, have a good day.